Welcome back everyone, I'm Joe the Lawn Warrior and today I want to talk about my Toro Super Recycler, the Matte Black Edition. I want to do a one year review, so let's get started. <music> Just real quick before today's video, I wanted to let everyone know that I am not sponsored by Toro in any way. I purchased this lawnmower with my own money. A lot of influencers out there like to push Toro and a lot of them are sponsored by Toro. And I don't wanna come off that way in any way at all. If you guys have watched my reviews in the past, whether a company has sent me a product or not, I have always given my honest opinion. I don't care if I'm sponsored or not because you guys at home are using your own hard earned money to purchase these products. And I wanna give you guys a good idea, a good opinion on these products. So that's why I don't believe in the buy my shit mentality. I'm gonna always give you my honest opinion. So let's get back to the one year review right now. So if you haven't been following my channel and if you haven't, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future content for next year's lawn care season. It's going to be a really cool lawn care season. We're going to be using all local suppliers for my fertilizers. I want to shop local right here in my home state of New Jersey. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future content for next season. So if you have been following my channel, you guys know that I use a Toro Super Recycler to cut my lawn. I got this, I purchased this last fall of 2021, so I've had a full year of this. There are definitely pros and there are definitely some cons and I wanna cover all that today. So if you are interested in purchasing one of these, so you guys have all the facts, so you get a good idea when you go to purchase either this one or another mower out on the market right now. So right here, this is the Super Recycler. This is the Honda Engine one. It does not have the electric start or the a blade stop it is just the honda engine this is the 2021 version as you can see toro they make all their mowers or most of their residential push mowers with a side discharge i think that's a cool feature to have on their mowers especially if you don't want a bag or if you don't want to mulch you have that option of doing a side discharge so one of the features that i really like on the toro super cycler is their flex bar right here Essentially what the flex bar does is your hands will go up and down, but the bottom of the deck right here does not. It kind of stays flat. That's what I've noticed. That's my personal opinion on the flex bar. I don't have a very level lawn, so I definitely notice it because I really don't have any scalp marks from my lawn, um, which is really key. You don't want to really have a lot of scalp marks, obviously. So I definitely notice uh, that flex bar really does come in handy. It really does work well. So the biggest feature on any Toro Super Recycler is their personal piece, which is right here. I'm gonna throw the GoPro up on my head in a second so I can show you guys a little bit better of an idea how it works. I've talked about this in my other review videos. After having this for a year now, I definitely love the personal piece. It really does work really well. It does, it, it, when they say personal piece, they really do mean uh, personal piece when it comes to uh, using their lawnmower. Um, it's a really great system. A lot of other companies out there, a lot of lawnmower manufacturers, they don't have this kind of system. Their system's more of a, a self-propelled system where you're setting it to a certain setting, like say a five, and that five setting is just going continuously at that pace. So you have to keep up with it as opposed to their system where it's more you're going, like it says, at your pace. Um, I'll show you that more in a second. Um, but first I want to cover how well it cuts. So obviously I want to show you guys how this personal pace works in a second. I'll throw the GoPro up on my hand, but first I want to talk about the bagging and the mulching capability of the Toro Super Recycler. Obviously Toro is very known for their mower, for their mulching capabilities. I'll show you the underneath of the deck in a second why it's a great mulching uh, mower. I have a bunch of leaves right here down below, uh, behind me, so I will definitely mulch these up today to show you what it looks like but as far as bagging goes i obviously my lawn is kind of short right now so i can't show you that but what happens is a lot of times when you bag with the toro the clippings get stuck in the front of the bag and they don't like to go all the way into the back um, that's what i've noticed with the bagger it, it's just i've used commercial mowers before as you guys know my dad had a lawn business when i was growing up so he had a X Mart uh, lawnmowers and he also had a right lawnmowers. Uh, the X Marts, we had the baggers on them. But in that bagger, it would fill all the way to the back and it would work its way to the front. 
Um, and with the Toro, I just noticed that the bagging wise, it's not the greatest. Um, so if you are a bagger, when it comes to mowing your lawn, you might want to think twice about getting the Toro Super Recycler. And that's my honest opinion. I've just noticed that the bagging capability is not the greatest, but if you like a mulching mower, I think this would be your way to go. Um, it, it is a really great mulching a mower and I'll show you that here in one second. So obviously to turn on the super recycler, you're gonna pull back the blade stop right here. You're gonna, you have your one start pull. And then you're just pushing on this really lightly and just going at your own pace. Nothing special, I'm not going fast. If I wanna slow down, I can slow down. If I wanna go faster, I can just go faster. This is me walking at my normal pace. I'm not struggling, I'm not keeping up with the mower, I'm just walking normal. So I just want to talk about the bagger real quick and what I meant by the clippings getting hung up in this section right here. This is the bagger that goes on the Toro Super Recycler. Uh, obviously you can see here the the bagger it kind of when it goes on the mower it kind of goes up on an angle and i'll show you in a second what i mean by that but what happens is the clippings lots of times are getting caught in this section here and they're not getting pushed back far enough in the back and what happens is is lots of times you, you're you'll take the bagger off and there's really nothing in the back and and in my opinion that's not how a bagger should work i've never seen that happen before on commercial mowers it will always get in the back it will fill up nice nice and tight so you have a nice full bag when you get done um so let me show you on this angle now what i meant by see how here i don't have any clippings in here right now but it will tend to get caught up in here and it's not going to go all the way in the back of the bagger so as you can see i have my toro bagger back on the mower you have the striping kit right here which is really nice about the bagger is the bagger can go right on to the back of the mower and you don't have to take the striping kit off that's why i really love this striping kit for that toro makes especially for their super recyclers obviously but what i don't like is this just the angle of the bagger as you guys can see it has an angle it has it goes it's more vertical it's not a lot of it's not very horizontal and that's why i believe these clippings just get really hung up in this section right here and they don't get shot all the way in the back i don't know if they're going to ever rede redesign the way that their bagging system works but as far as a bagging system i don't think it's the greatest i've just i've too many times i've taken this bagger off and there's it, it feels a lot uh heavier than it should be because the it's not getting all the way in the back it's just it's not a great design obviously when it comes to the bagging i'm not a fan of it um but when i what i want to do is, is i'm going to flip up the mower now and show you the underside of the mower and show you why it's a great mulching mower so this is the underside now of the Toro Super Recycler. I'm gonna show you why it makes it such a great mulching mower. Obviously they have these two red knockouts right here on the underside of their mower. They have this cover right here that goes over top of the blade. And essentially what all of this is doing is keeping the grass underneath of the mower longer. So that way the blade can work its way around. It can chop up the grass into finer bits. So it's leaving less in your lawn. I really honestly think this is a great system. This is what they're known for, obviously, Toro, is their, their mulching capability, these two knockouts, everything that's under here. That's what they're very known for. Um, I definitely believe it is definitely a great mulching mower. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this back down. We're going to turn it on. We're going to mulch up some of these leaves right here in my yard so you guys can see how much is left over. So obviously this is what was left after mulching the backyard as you guys could see earlier it was pretty much completely covered this is what's left i left this one little strip right here just so you guys can see the difference you can see it did a really great job breaking down those leaves they are very th fine thin leaves um, as you guys can see they're not really super thick leaves 
So, but as for the most part, you can see it did a really great job breaking everything down. There's not much left over. And I've obviously when you go to do grass, it's gonna be the same thing. Not a lot is gonna be left over as well. So that's what's really great about the Toro Super Recycler right here. It is a great mulching mower, but bagger wise, I would definitely look at something else than the Toro if you are very into bagging your yard. So I just want to recap my one year ownership of my Toro Super Recycler. If you guys watch reviews in my, on my channel before, you guys know I give an honest opinion. Whether the company sent me the item or not, I will give you a straightforward, honest opinion. There's a term in the lawn care community, it's called buy my shit. And I don't want to come off that way. I want to give you guys an honest opinion because when it comes down to it, at the end of the day, you are buying it with your hard earned money whatever you purchase you you know so I want to give you guys the best knowledge as possible when it comes to making that purchase and I don't want to come off saying you have to buy my shit and that's just not me Toro did not send me this mower I am not sponsored by Toro in any way my X smart 36 inch commercial mower that I had before I sold that I was uh, I was very lucky to sell it off to a 911 first responder in North Jersey so with that money I was able to purchase my Toro super recycler right here so when it comes down to it it's very simple when it comes to this Toro super recycler in my opinion if you want a mulching mower and you want to and you want to mostly mulch Toro is a great option for you if you want a bag and you like bag in your yard Toro is not a great option for you I've used this obviously all year this year, both mulching and bagging, and that's my honest opinion. Just one thing to point out, I didn't have any maintenance problems over the course of the year. Nothing fell off, nothing broke down, which was great. The only thing that I had to do was change the oil and I put a fresh blade on after I did my fall overseed just to keep it nice and sharp. So I had no problems when I went to go do my first cuttings after my fall overseed. If you found today's video helpful or if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you smash that like button. It really does help out with the channel. It helps people find the videos on my channel. And if you have any questions or concerns on today's video, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And like always, guys, I'll see you in the next one.